Hi, my name is Paco, and this is my experiment to test the effects of cold friction and wetness on the intern inflation pressure of a regulation NFL football. I initially inflated the football to 12.75 uh, PSI with the help of a Tachikara pressure gauge um, with a bleed valve. Uh, 12.75 is around the minimum pressure pressure for uh, a regulation NFL football. Uh, after that, I for about five minutes, I rub the football with a dish cloth, dish cloth to simulate a ball boy rubbing the, rubbing the ball uh, for a game. Uh, after rubbing, I remeasured and found that it had become 12 point, it had raised to 12 point, uh, to 13.75, 13 point, what's it, 13.15 uh, PSI. Uh, after which I bled the pressure back down to 12.5, which is around the minimum NFL football pressure. Um, after which, uh, all uh, inflation was done at around room temperature. Uh, after bleeding it back to 12.5, I put it in a fridge, which is around 32 degrees Fahrenheit, which is a little colder than um, the, uh, the temperature at the day of the game, but the fridge is um, good enough. Uh, I measured the temperature and pressure hour um, periodically, and it fell to about 10.4, 10.45, the pressure. Um, after four hours, I wet the ball in the sink to simulate the rain and returned it to the fridge for another, for about another hour. There was no noticeable change in the PSI, uh, so it didn't seem like wetness was a factor in the pressure. Uh, after, um, after testing for, uh, the effect of wetness, I... Retrieve the ball from the fridge and let it sit for at room temperature. Um, and the temperature and uh, the pressure measured at about 11.85. After letting the ball dry out overnight, it went up to 12, which is slightly less than it had originally been inflated, which is probably due to the fact that when I rubbed the ball, the pressure had increased, and then I bled it back down to 12.5. Therefore, it was artifi the pressure was artificially raised to 12.5 because of the rubbing. And when it, the ball recovered from, ru from the rubbing, it went to a pressure slightly less. After rubbing the ball with a dish towel again, it returned to 12.6, which is around the original pressure. Um, the temperature change from 70 degrees to 30 degrees Fahrenheit seems to account for about 1.6 pounds per square inch uh, drop in pressure. Uh, Uh, while we can't prove, well, we can't um, show the effects of pressure from the actual temperatures in the game, which were 75 when it was inflated and 51 degrees Fahrenheit when it was in game, we can prove that as the ball gets, as the ambient temperature gets colder, the ball lose, loses pressure. Um,
Is that it? 